In this video I'll cover what to do if your Samsung TV remote is not working and it has a blinking red light. So this video is specifically for Samsung Frame TV remotes and the Solar TV remotes, which are the most recent form of Samsung TV remote. So not the uh, standard kind, the older kind, which I cover in a separate video. These newer remotes have both infrared and uh, RF connections to your TV and problems caused by the remote switching from Bluetooth to IR mode and vice versa uh, caused the, the flashing red light and caused the remote not to work. So the red light itself is usually just a sign that the, uh, the RF connection, the Bluetooth connection between your remote and your TV is not working properly. If the uh, red light on your remote only blinks when you press a button on the remote, that means the remote is in IR mode only and the Bluetooth mode has been switched off. If you have a red light that blinks on your remote and stays blinking for a few seconds after a button is pressed, that means your remote needs to be factory reset and reconnected to your TV again. If your remote is not working at all and doesn't control your TV at all, then it's likely that your remote has become unpaired from your TV and so we'll just need to be repaired. And if your, your remote is only using the IR functionality, then a block line of sight will stop it working properly. And if you've got a frame TV, then the frame around the TV will often block the IR receiver. So if your remote's red light blinks only when you press a button and stops as soon as you take your finger off the button, then your remote is in IR mode and needs to be switched back to Bluetooth mode. If the light continues to blink after you press a button, then you need to power cycle your TV and factory reset your remote and then repair it with your TV. To switch your remote back to Bluetooth mode and make sure it's paired correctly with your TV, you need to make sure that there first of all is a clear line of sight between your remote and the TV's sensor, which is located on the bottom. So if you've got a, a frame TV um, and you're using a third party or a deco frame, then that will block that uh, sensor on the TV and you will need to remove that frame. If you're just using the standard frame, then it shouldn't be blocked, but just make sure there is a line of sight between your remote and that TV's um, IR sensor. Then switch your TV on and uh, have your remote about three or four feet away from your TV with the IR emitter on the end of your remote pointed at the IR sensor on your TV. Then press and hold the return and play pause buttons simultaneously and keep holding them. Once you see connecting to the Samsung smart remote on your TV screen, you can release the buttons and after a few seconds it should then change to pairing complete and hopefully your, your remote will then work normally without a flashing red light. If you see the messages, another remote is already paired or no device found, then try the process three or four more times and you can try getting closer to your TV. And um, it's also a good idea to change your remote's batteries if the pairing still fails, because often if a, a remote is running low on battery power, then it won't be able to successfully pair with the TV. If you've tried this and your remote will not repair with your TV, then first of all, try soft resetting it. This only resets the software on your remote itself and doesn't affect any pairings of the remote with the TV. So to soft reset the Samsung remote, press and hold the return and enter buttons and wait for the red light to start flashing. Hold it for a couple of seconds and then release the buttons and the soft reset of the remote will be complete once the red light stops blinking. You can then try repairing your remote with your TV. So again, by holding the return and play pause buttons while pointing the IR emitter on the end of your remote with the IR sensor on your TV. If that hasn't helped, then you can factory reset the remote itself so if the light is continuously blinking uh, when you press a button, then you need to factory reset it. 
So first of all, start by cold booting your TV. So plug your TV in and switch it on, and then pull the plug out of the wall socket. Wait for 10 seconds, and plug your TV back in and switch it on again using the buttons on the TV itself. You then need to factory reset the remote. So press and hold the return and the multi-view buttons. The red light should only flash once. Then release the buttons and that will uh, factory reset the remote. So your remote will immediately try to pair with your TV again. So make sure your TV is switched on and your remote is pointed at the IR sensor and you'll see the um, the same message that you, sh you should have seen earlier, which is connecting to the Samsung Smart Remote on your TV screen, which should then change to pairing complete. If you're still struggling to get your, your remote working, then there's a few um, other simple fixes, uh, some more general fixes. So just check that you don't have any dead batteries in your, in your remote. Um, check that the contacts between the batteries and the remote are, uh, are not dirty. You could also check for stuck buttons on the remote. Uh, so it can be pretty common that uh, dirt or grime gets in between the buttons and then prevents the buttons from making contact when you press down on them. So uh, to just try and clean your remote without taking it apart, take the batteries out, uh, hold down the power button for a few seconds, and then just forcefully mash every button on the remote and slap the remote against your palm a few times just to try and dislodge any dirt and then try putting the batteries back in and using your remote again. You should also make sure that, particularly if you've got a frame TV and you're using a third-party frame, that the frame is not blocking the IR receiver on the bottom of the TV. Because the uh, Samsung frame remotes use both Bluetooth and the IR, you can also confirm that the uh, IR emitter on your remote is working properly. So to do that, you'll need an Android phone. Uh, some iPhones will also be able to do this, but not all models of iPhone. But if you open the camera app on your phone, point it at the end of your remote and then press a button on your remote, you should see the IR LED light up through the camera app on your phone. Some models of iPhone have got an IR filter so they won't see the um, LED and obviously you won't see it if you're looking at it just with your eye. So if you don't see the LED light up, then just try another remote that you know does work just to confirm um, that you would be able to see it with your phone. And if the LED is not lighting up um, on your Samsung remote, but it is lighting up on another remote that you tried, then your best bet is probably just to replace your remote because there must be some mechanical damage within the remote itself. You can, if you don't want to replace it, try taking your remote apart. So usually the remotes are just uh, held in two halves by little plastic clips on the side. And you could use a, a blunt knife or a, a credit card or something just to pop the little catches and separate the remotes into two halves. And then um, try cleaning all the components with uh, isopropyl alcohol and uh, make sure there's no dirt or grime stuck under the buttons. Um, and just spend a few minutes giving it a good clean and then stick your remote back together again and uh, try it again. If your remote is still not working and you don't want to get a replacement remote, then your only other option is really to use the SmartThings app, which you can download for Android or Apple, uh, which is released by Samsung. If you've got a, uh, a recent frame TV or, or a similar uh, TV using an RF remote, then the SmartThings app should already be installed on your TV. So just uh, download the app to your phone and then add your TV and you'll be then able to control your TV using your phone. Uh, there's some more tips on how to do this in the linked article below.